If you're watching this video right now, there's probably three different scenarios that you're going through. First one is you're probably going through a breakup and you don't know how to handle it. You don't know where to go from here. You're coming to this video looking for a path. You want to self-educate. This is a field that you want to improve in. Or you're watching this video out of desperation, not coming to the video, going through a breakup, but coming to the video, not having any results whatsoever. I have some good news for you guys. I'm going to give you the answers to everything you want and more. This is my well thought out game plan that you guys can use yourself. I'm a dating coach as of about 10 years, and this is my game plan for being single. With that being said, let's get into the video. There's one spot left on my Phoenix boot camp. Phoenix is an amazing place to pick up gorgeous girls. We're going to be out there for three days, six hours a day, talking to beautiful women. I'll be giving you all the advice you need, giving you exercises and a direction path that you can take after the boot camp. So that's not the only place where you make your improvements. If you are interested, 702-841-9909, text that number, Phoenix. Have a plan. Your plan doesn't have to be the same as mine. There are some of these things are gonna be unique to me. You have to decide yourself, what is your ideal situation in life? What are you looking for in this current moment? And whatever you're looking for, be honest with yourself. It doesn't have to be what I want for you. It should be what you want. Ask yourself from there, what is the next right step? Instead of looking at the long path to get there, look at each individual step to get to that end goal. It should be pretty obvious if you think about it. Sit down, take your time, make a game plan. How am I gonna get the results I want for being single? How am I gonna get the life that I want? I'm probably not gonna stop doing this dating thing for a while because I'm obsessed and I'm fucking weird. Any girl that would date me would have to be out of her fucking mind and I understand I'm, I'm a nutball. My therapist is working on it. Step number two, if you wanna get a marriage, if you wanna get an open relationship, if you just wanna have a lot of fun being single and playing the field, that's okay. Society nowadays wants to play it that if you're single, there's something wrong with you. What if you enjoy being single? Why is that not okay for society as a whole? As the individual, does that benefit you or not? Or are you doing something because you're afraid of what people think about you if you don't do it? Irrelevant of what you guys want, this next step is gonna be vital for your success in whatever you're looking for. No matter the outcome, you have to love being single. You have to love being single. If you don't love it, you are going to settle for a girl that's not to your standards. And it's also gonna be a lot tougher for you to tie down the girl you truly want. How many times have you been out and about and you start talking to a girl and you're like, that's the girl that I want. And because now you're so interested and invested, now she's no longer interested in you. Doesn't that suck? That's why you have to love being single first. Look to all the great things about being single. Nobody over your back, breathing down your throat, telling you what to do, asking you, where have you been? Where are you going? Who is just intertwined into your life. Now you can just be you. Now you can be free. You can date the girls you want. If a girl flirts with you out of Starbucks, guess what? You can take down her number and hang out with her again. Now, if you are in what I call one -nitis, where you don't have very many options and anytime a girl that likes you, you fall madly in love with, you just have to realize it for what it is, which is infatuation. You don't know who this girl is. You don't have very many options. So your brain is saying, look, in this environment, we don't have, there, there aren't that many girls. So let's just settle on the first thing that comes along. Does that sound like a good strategy? Or should that person get to a place of abundance and then choose? If that guy learned how to play the field and be an attractive guy, then he could have a plethora of women that he could choose from be like, you know what, out of all these women, that's the one I want, that one right there, that one I choose. Now, how lucky is the girl to date you now at this point, instead of her feeling like she settled for you and you settled for her? Oh no, Denton, how do I get to this mindset? Chase a purpose, chase a hustle. Create a religion outside of the girl. Create something that's bigger than her or you, something that you chase. No matter what girl comes along, this is your number one thing. This is your this is your path. If a girl gets in the way of that path, she's not around too much longer. And you stay strict to this path with religious fanaticism. I, I want you to be fanatic about chasing your purpose. And if you're fanatic about chasing your purpose, how many girls are gonna be attracted to you because you're free of outcome? Because the outcome was never them. When you go out to talk to girls, the outcome is not getting the girl. The outcome is becoming more of a charismatic, fun entity. And guess what? She's not the purpose. Sometimes she might be if you want to push a certain button of yours. But guess what? For most part, she's not your purpose. Your purpose is becoming a more polished individual. Then by developing, becoming a more polished individual, you draw to higher quality women. Which takes me to my next point. Number three, narrative. Everything that is in front of you, you can risk losing. Because you do not change as a person. You do not change your what you think you deserve. If one girl leaves and she's no longer in front of you, guess what? She will be replaced over some period of time. If you have certain friends in your group, they, they leave, somebody else replaces them. It's a constant in and out. It's a, it's a turnstile door. When, when one thing leaves, another, it leaves space for something else to come along. Now, because you have this mentality, you now can come to being single from headspace of, I don't need you. I don't need this. I don't need a relationship because the relationship is inherent within me. 
if I want it, I can have it because I'm inherently that person. I'm just fucking sexy because I'm that guy because I'm that clear victory for any girl to date. Guess what? Now I can come to this, take it or leave it. And you're going to come across a lot more attractive to the girls you're talking to as you're single because you're constantly on your heels and not brushing a relationship which is what a girl is used to. A girl's used to a guy rushing a relationship because he doesn't have options. The hotter she is, the more likely this is to be the case. If you're that one guy who doesn't care to try to tie her down, I've seen this time and time again where the girl starts chasing you down. It's a different mentality. You friend zone her, she doesn't like it. This is something I almost forgot, the four pillars. Now, being single and wanting to rebuild back up your abundance comes down to the four pillars. What are they? Approaching, going out and making time to go say hi to girls who work in your charisma, to be social and be outgoing. If you're somebody that has a desk job, get yourself out there. Find some reason to be social because if you're not sociable, you're not going to be attractive. Number two, working on your dating apps. This is something you can improve on and get better at. Yes, you can. Take your time. Take a lot of photos. I made multiple videos about this. Work on your dating apps. Three, social circle. Develop a social circle of guys that you click with. Make female friends too. Not every girl is a target. Some girls can be really cool and just be the be the homies. They can be just really, they, honestly, to be fair, having a girl as a friend will draw on so much more in the way of women than if you were to sleep with her. Sometimes, sometimes that's the rule. And lastly, working on your purpose, working on your body, working on the things that society says are gonna help you out with women because it's gonna prove to your subconscious mind, I am enough. No matter how much you lean into this and you bury your head in the sand, Society will lean on you in certain ways. And to be fair, the more you look like the type of guy the girl goes for, the easier it is for her to backwards rationalize you are her type. Don't get an ego. Work on everything you possibly can to get better with the opposite sex. Don't leave any stone unturned. The last piece, have unrealistic expectations for the girl you want. Think it about in detail. Visualize, like we were talking about earlier, what's your ideal living situation? What's your ideal look? What's your ideal girl look like? You're stepping to this now being single. If a girl did come along, what is that amazing woman that would take you away from being in a, in a loving situation, in a dating situation? Now, here's the thing. I do say set a time limit because you're going to bend this list to match a girl at times when you first get into being single again. Love being single. If you don't love being single, then this list is completely irrelevant. But make a list that is so ridiculous that you don't think you can get it yourself. Now, by setting this lofty goal, it, it's, it forces you to not settle. It forces you to take your time. Now, you might have to go through a journey. You might have to change who you are to date a girl like this because a high-quality girl wants a high-quality guy, and maybe you don't feel like you are that yourself yet. Maybe you aren't that. Maybe you haven't, haven't done anything with your life. Maybe you don't have a purpose. Maybe you aren't hitting the gym, eating clean, maybe working on your charisma, working on your purpose, chasing something with such fervor that it makes other people, that it, that it inspires others. If you don't have that light, if you don't have that thing in you, if you're not working on every aspect of your life, of course a girl of high quality won't want to date you. So you have to make sure that you find a way to match her in value. Whatever that, whatever that purpose is, you know the right next step. What's the right next step for you? What's that one thing that you put the pressure on that you start getting better? That you start improving? That you start becoming more charismatic and free of outcome? That you start becoming more of a loving individual? What's that button? What's that button for you? With that being said, Yo, peace. Bitch, I got some